What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of the term listening? Is it the boring act of sitting down, staring someone dead in the eye, having to hear them talk until they are finished so you can go about your own life? Or maybe you are eagerly waiting for your turn to share your own little story. In reality, listening isn't simply an exchange of words between two parties. It is above and beyond that. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Tarana Ali and today we are going to distill and discuss the power of listening. Listening isn't only about hearing what is being spoken. It is about understanding the meaning behind those words. It is about making the other person feel heard. So why listen when we can just talk, talk and keep on talking? We human beings have this deep innate desire to feel heard, to feel acknowledged. Because when we feel heard, we feel validated for who we truly are. All of us at some point like to feel the spotlight on us, but we chase it in all the wrong ways. Imagine talking for hours to a wall and then talking for hours to people or a person. Clearly, the latter is more rewarding because people possess the power to comprehend our message and respond to it if you want them to. But if everyone's doing the talking and no one's there to do the listening, we have an imbalance here. Let me give you a solid reason as to why you should master the art of listening from today onwards. When you give people the simple yet genuine gift of listening, they give back tenfold of what you've initially offered them. Every story you hear of negotiators negotiating successfully, you'll notice how it boils down to the negotiator's willingness to understand how the mind of the person they're trying to have an impact on works. If you want to make an impact on the mind, you must first understand how it works. And for that, you must learn to listen to it first and foremost. What happens when we listen more and talk less? When you learn to listen, you make the other person feel good about themselves. And that is single-handedly the best feeling ever. You allowing the other person to speak shows that you care about them and you want to connect with them. You may not agree with everything the person has to say and so it is quite natural for you to want to interrupt and tell them where you may think they are potentially wrong. But when you hold back the urge, you've won the game. You've allowed your sense of judgment to be replaced by a sense of curiosity and willingness to know the unknown. This is a win-win for both. How? When you listen to people's realities, their point of views, you learn. You learn to embrace the idea of lifelong learning, the idea of the growth mindset. You become more open-minded, which allows you to expose yourself to the sea of possibilities, which otherwise wouldn't have been visible to you. As for the person you're listening to, you made them feel safe, so now they're more open to being vulnerable with you. This vulnerability builds a deep sense of trust and rapport. When a person has chosen to be vulnerable with you, they've chosen to open their hearts to you. Vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, but a sign of tremendous strength. And for a person to open up to you on that level goes to show how much they trust you back and are willing to do anything in return for that. Only because you gave them something they so intrinsically desire, that is, the gift of listening. You made them feel heard, you validated their thoughts and ideas, and connected with them on an emotional level. Maneuvering this underrated skill of listening more and talking less costs nothing but brings tremendous benefits into our lives. The negotiation expert William Uri says, the simple act of listening is the golden key that opens doors to human relationships. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you spending this time with me and I'll see you in my next video. But before we depart, here's a little food for thought for you guys. And that is this 
beautiful quote by the ancient Greek philosopher Epictetus who said we have two ears and one mouth now I'd like for you to fill in the blank and figure out the rest of the quote and let me know in the comments down below what you think so next time when you interact with someone and you feel the urge to interrupt just hold yourself back for a couple of minutes and try to be genuinely interested in the things they have to share. Do this for your own sake and theirs and see how your life changes over time. So that is it for today. Thank you for sticking around and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!